now I did say earlier I am joined in the studio today by Keith Fabrique. Hello, Hello Keith, how are you doing? I'm fine, I'm really good, how good, are you? Good, I'm very well thank you. Now you're here mostly to talk about Glasslip Records. I am indeed. Who are Glasslip Records, what are they? Glasslip Records is a little internet uh, label that I've set up with my wife. Uh, what we do is we've got a, we've got a studio at, within our house called Tinkle Studio. Uh, the phrase coined by my wife again you're off to your room for a little tinkle <laughs> <laughs> so it became tinkle studio and uh, i got into recording at home long story short i ended up then uh, running an open mic at whitefriars and uh, artists that i liked who didn't have money you know i'd say well come and record and mm -hmm. uh, people i've helped are people like holly perkins danny gascoigne uh, john mcnally uh, He's he's done a few sessions with me, so it's really just about helping people go forward. And I and I thought, well, you've got Reverb Nation, you've got MySpace, you've got yeah. all of those things, and uh, you can put your stuff up for free there, or you can put it out through a label. And yeah. um, we've set up this yeah. label, and uh, hopefully we we're looking for investment to be able to press up vinyl. That yeah. wonderful, th that wonderful thing called records. <laughs> what are they? <laughs> yeah, what are they? What's that? My my granddaughter says to me the the other day, uh, I was playing a record in the house, mm -hmm. and she's she, she's what seven. She couldn't understand how you had to pick this arm, this thing, yeah. up to find the next song. Yeah, can't you press the button, Granddad? <laughs> I said, no, thank you, darling. <laughs> I don't want to press any buttons. I just want to lift the arm and drop the needle on. Yeah. And here you go. Oh, well, at least she knows now, anyway. Well, she, she does. So, she yeah. does, yeah. Yeah. At least one seven-year-old will know that's it. what vinyl is. That's it. Push it forward. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Granddad, are these worth anything? <laughs> <laughs> that's the worry. Yeah, that's it. Um, so... How popular has your studio been? You really good. It's we've had something like uh, two thousand views at the uh, Facebook page, yeah. you know, and people are pushing it. Uh, people are downloading the albums that we have available on Glasslip. Mm -hmm. At the moment, we've got four art, uh, four four products up. We've got a single off Danny's album, "This Stone Will Roll On." That's mm -hmm. Danny Ansel. Um, we've got the Gunshock Big Band LP. Uh, we've got the Fabrique Alive. Uh, sorry, Fabrique album which is me and my writing partner Mick Walker mm -hmm. uh, an LP called Heart Shaped Tears all up on iTunes and the like yeah. uh, and we've got uh, Octagoth but not Octagoth and the t uh, Tupperware band just right, Octagoth right. which is Chris and uh, Steve yeah. they did stuff at ours and I said well what are you doing with this album the album's called All Aboard the Space Bus <laughs> well that went into transition yesterday, so it should be live within the next two, th yeah. two to three weeks. I can't wait. So there's lots I of stuff. Uh, well, I brought you samples of, <laughs> yeah. of a few things, that, you know. Brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and also, also, I must mention um, two guys who are very much involved with me, Eddie Bruno and uh, Steve Madden. Mm -hmm. They have played on a lot of the artists that come through. And if you if you don't play bass, then you need a bass player. Then. Yeah. We use the, the the musicians that are available to us, and uh, Eddie and Steve have also been working on a project, and I brought uh, two two or three samples of their their work as well. Fantastic stuff, really groovy stuff. You yeah, know, it's yeah. got that uh, because we're of a certain age. It's got mm -hmm. that groove, but hopefully you'll like the sound. The sound is now, yeah, but the groove the groove is then. Yeah, yeah, it's good stuff. Uh, now, first of all, we're going to listen to uh, the Gunchok big band um who are they are we going to know them uh yeah, actually, well i could i could name them all individually but I, it's it's easier to say that uh, if you know the the two coventry bands the glasgans and lipshock believe me anyone who's listened to my show knows the glasgans and lipshock they do i play them all the time they've both been here oh fantastic yeah. fantastic I, i've caught them when they've been on but yeah. Like with yourself, you know, I, I if I haven't got headphones on doing something <laughs> for myself, then yeah, I'm, I'm usually helping somebody else. Well, yeah. Glasgow's and Lipshock, uh, I two of the Glasgow's are my sons, uh, yeah. the drummer and the guitarist, that's Sam and Phil. Mm -hmm. And uh, I s Sam, Sam has been playing live with me on and off uh, since he was 16, um, did the university, um, did a couple of pubs and that. And he grew into his own thing, which became the Glasgow's. Yeah. 
The Glasgans then were offered a couple of supports via Lipshock, uh, and the friendship grew from there. Mm-hmm. Um, lovely guys, all t- all ten of them, mm-hmm. all nine of them, sorry. Um, and what happened then was, I said to Sam and to Philip, "Do you think you'd want to record some of my old demos?" I said, "I'll pay for I'll pay for the sessions." And we went into Moonbase. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Uh, John John yeah. Webb's studio, and uh, we did fourteen songs. Ele- Eleven or twelve are on the album, and uh, we got a couple of people that I met at open mics to to work with them as well. John McNally, flautist, yeah. all round great musician, and the wonderful Chloe Greenway, who came approached me when she was seventeen, says, oh, "I want to sing." I, I said, so I, I called her bluff and I said, "Sing," mm-hmm. and she ended up on the album as well. And mm-hmm. she opens it. If you, you're playing track 11, then she opens this track. Yeah, that's not the one we're playing now. We're going to play, first of all, number 14. Uh, track 14, so I'm looking at Yeah, looking at yeah. one. See, it's all technical in here. It is, it, isn't it? Yeah. Right, let's give it a listen. What's this song called? Black Eyes. Yeah, gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is well. That's where Glass Slip came from as yeah, well. Yeah. You know the breakdown. I know so. that's confusing me yeah. even more. It's all the same. So um, there's an album, isn't there? What's yes, the album, the called? album is called uh, Roll Back the Night. Yeah. Where and can it, people get that from? Uh, all the download sites: Amazon, eMusic, Harmony, Spotify. Yeah. Um, I think it's on six or seven uh, yeah, yeah. sites in all. Yeah. It's, and there's a single off it. Uh, Black Eyes was going to be the the single, but we mm-hmm. chose. I chose. Uh, she's only looking instead, which yeah. is uh, uh, what I tried to do when I put the project together was was um, bring the two bands together so that they would see what the fusion would be, mm-hmm. you know, and see how my songs would be. When you arrange your own songs and you play your own songs, you know exactly what you're putting in. Yeah, yeah. When you give a song to somebody else, it's it, it takes on a whole different feel and, and yeah. groove and style and. Uh, like we were saying when the record was playing, um, it didn't matter. I I I didn't dictate who sang what. Or I yeah, didn't yeah. dictate who who played what. It, it was here's the songs and the guys. Their their relationships fantastic. Yeah. yeah, I can't I can't praise them highly enough. And how do you think they found singing your songs rather than their own or performing your songs? Good. I mean, a, a couple of the guys that turned around and said to me, you know, it's it's nice to be able to not have to worry about coming up with the the riffs and yeah. the, the melodies and that and them being there and, and, and getting inside them and they did they did get inside them. Yeah. I mean I don't do black eyes <laughs> like that. You know, mine, mine, mine's more of a, a shuffle. Yeah. <laughs> it really is a shuffle. There's there's grooves a little bit. You yeah, know? yeah. It, what was it like for you finding them finding your song sound so different? I think this. Is, I think this says it all, doesn't it? I'm, I'm, I'm bowled over, knocked out, and 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 I'm honoured. I really am honoured. Yeah. Uh, what we were going to do, we finished the album in uh, 2011, and my idea was was to do a vinyl run. Mm-hmm. Um, what with the recession and everything else, we all got hit. I couldn't afford to do that, so yeah. I've had to go down the download avenue, like it, like like everybody who's trying to get yeah, music yeah. out. But I will get a vinyl run done mm-hmm. if I sell enough copies yeah. then I'm going to do a limited run of uh, 250 yeah. uh, maybe 300 uh, all numbered mm-hmm. and, and si- hopefully signed as well yeah, yeah. Um, because we can if mm-hmm. we if we make the money off the album so please 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 <laughs> buy Gunshot <laughs> Big Band and, and let's get that vinyl let's get that vinyl out there yeah. again you can all go out and buy turntables yeah. <laughs> 
What's the turntable? <laughs> yeah, we've got some over there at the back of the studio, but uh-huh. uh, they don't get used very much, I don't think. Shame, that is I a know, shame. I know. Best sound you'll ever hear. Yeah. So we need to uh, talk about a few more. We do. Of the people who are using your services at the minute. Uh, should we move on to Danny Ansel? Yeah, Danny, absolutely. Have you ever seen Danny play? I haven't, no. Oh, he's like a pocket rocket. <laughs> Honestly, he's, he's no, no bigger than a cigarette. Right. Honestly, he's <laughs> only a little lad. Yeah. All in proportion, but what a voice. I reckon from his toes to his hair is nothing but voice. Great songwriter. Brilliant. So what, what sort of style is he? What? Uh, his, his influence is Beatles and... Yeah. Ocean Colour Scene, the jam, very much a mod thing. Yeah, yeah. Very English, mm-hmm. a very English songwriter, I would say. Yeah. Um, very observant. Yeah. You know, he, he he writes about the things he sees. He mm-hmm. doesn't. He, he's not a he's not a dreamer. You know, it's yeah, not Moon yeah. in June with Dan. Yeah. It's uh, and he just gets a groove and a hook. He, his voice, that, he puts me in mind of of. Uh, Steve Marriott and from the uh, Small Faces, yeah. um, even Paul Weller. There's a bit of that in him. Yeah, you know, he's just he's got very English sound. Yeah, I, I, love, I love him to bits. I think we need to hear him really, don't we? What yeah. song are we going to hear now then? Uh, I'm going to go with uh, "As They Made You" because this features two of the Glasgans as well. <laughs> it features uh, Sam on guitar, uh, lead guitar, and it features Phil on. What drums there are is percussion. (laughs) Okay, here we go. Staring out of the window, still wearing last night's clothes. Still I try to bury my demons, but on and on it goes. There's no good being a charmer And there is no looking being cool Guess that's just the way it rolls Like when lottery plans fall through You, they broke the mold as they made you They broke the mold as they made you They broke the mold Well, that was Danny Ansel there. I really like that. Really, uh, and see what I mean? Yeah. He's, he's, I mean, he's live. He's, he, he just captivates you. You yeah. know, he's great lyrics again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. Lovely melodies. Unique sound. Can you can you see the Englishness in, yeah. in the sound? Yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Very working class. Very proud. Yeah. You know, and that's that's uh, believes in standards and all that yeah, kind yeah. of thing. I mean, it's, it's nice to see. Yeah. Certainly in. My kids' generation, yeah. you know, because our our lot, our age, we moan that people have lost respect, and yeah. they haven't. Yeah, oh, I don't think they have. I don't all, think they no. have. I, you know, pff, is music any better now? Was it any better? And it, mm. It's music. Yeah, let's it. just enjoy it. That's it. You know, <laughs> must mention Danny's album. Yeah, this stone will roll on. Available again on iTunes and e music and harmony. Mm. And you, you know the sites. Yeah, just yeah. type in Danny Ansel. This stone will roll on. Or people can just go to your... Or go to my links, yeah. yeah. Go to my Facebook and yeah. go to Glasslip Records and the link for that as well. Yeah. And type it in and it'll come up. And I'll put all these on the Hills Facebook page, which is Hills 98.6 FM, and then it's got commentary in brackets. Please use that address because that's the only one that um, us here at Hills use. And I should also mention, which I haven't yet, if you do want to give either myself or Keith a ring, you can call us on 024 76 224 Seven six one. You can have a little chat with us here in the studio. Tell us what you think. So long as it's nice. Yeah, be right. nice. Yeah. <laughs> People who listen to Hills are always nice. Yeah, I always hear good things. <laughs> I do. Um, so who are we going to talk about next? Eddie, Eddie Bruno and Steve Madden. This is a song, uh, again, recorded at Tinkle Studios. Uh, it's a song called Horseplay. Started as a groove, uh, became a melody, then became a lyric. Now become a finished tune. <laughs> Diversity. Yeah, we'll give it a listen then. 
Good song though, yeah, <laughs> very good it song. Was. We did listen to both of the songs. Yeah, the it's got chatting. got that groove, hasn't it? It's Definitely. got that Coventry yeah, sound, yeah. you know. Um, Eddie used to play with the band. I think they were called Channel. A eh? with Stan Campbell, who went on to um, Special, aka the Nelson Mandela single. So, right. you know, all these all these musicians I know they they're all from around in and around that period, and yeah. of course their kids are grown up now, yeah, and they're, yeah. they're they're back playing again, yeah. and experience teaches you don't be so headstrong and yeah. work work your songs out then yeah, yeah. it's only a song for god's sake <laughs> <laughs> you know, nobody's gonna get shot it's, it's good stuff it's yeah. great stuff I, I get excited by everyone who comes to my my little studio tinkle studio i get excited yeah. because i don't i know what chords they're going to play yeah i know how their voices are going to sound but i don't know how that day is going to turn out yeah. and you don't know Happy accidents. I love happy yeah, accidents yeah. in studios where something goes down and you catch it, you know, and it's, oh, wow. Yeah. Then you have to learn how to make that mistake every time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's all good stuff. It is. Yeah. Oh, how exciting. Uh, right, now, before we carry on, I've just got a, a few things to read out that are going on. Um, right, this Thursday at the Adam and Eve in Digbeth in Birmingham, a little bit far away, I know, but Army of Skanks, friends of the show, are playing... Uh, supporting Dick Venom and the Terror Tones. It's £5 to get in, but if you like a bit of punk, get yourself down there and you will love it. And then on Saturday, um, this isn't music-based, but I think you might like it anyway, they're having an Easter Vintage and Handmade Fair um, at Priory Place in town. That is from 10am to 5pm. All sorts of things, shopping, clothes, jewellery, cakes, everything vintage that you might want. Um, and then Saturday, sort of afternoon... Friars Fest starts, um, which is at White Friars, and that is on over the whole of the Easter weekend there, well, Saturday and Sunday. I've only written down the acts who are on on Saturday for some reason. I don't know why. They've got. <laughs> <laughs> you knew I was coming in. Glasgow's. <laughs> yes, Glasgow's, monochrome state. Our very own Johnny Concrete from here. Hostile Heart and the Co Coyote are also playing, and then I'm sure there are loads of great acts on on Sunday, but I've just not written them down. Or, if you don't want to go there, or if you want to go there for a bit and then leave, you can go and see Twinkle and the Sluts at the Golden Cross. Um, and that's free to get in, as always. Or, if you don't want to go there, you can go to Taylor John's. Uh, it is £5 to get in, starts at 8. General, who I absolutely love, Luna Park and Richard Warren are all playing. So it is a bargain for £5. So there's no excuse to stay in. There are loads of things going on this weekend. Oh, I need to take a little deep breath now. Right, who are we going to, uh, what are we going to play next? You know, I, you know, I said we've also got the Octagoth album to go up all yes. aboard the space bus. Uh, well, this is, uh, we did a project just prior to that. Um, I was working with, working on some of Holly Perkins' stuff, and I asked Holly to get involved in the thing I was doing called The Fabric of Life. Mm -hmm. Again, uh, a live version of putting musicians together and playing my, my songs. Yeah. And... Uh, 
we did a little thing called Static Friction, which features Holly on violin and, and uh, Sam on guitar and uh, Chris from Octagoth Stroke, mm. Lip Shop mm. Stroke, Glasgow. Do you know, <laughs> see what I mean? It's, I it's all tied together. <laughs> I, I'm, a, I'm a really lucky chap. I can call... I can call on all of these guys to come and do a session. Yeah. They are true, true musicians, mm -hmm. every one of them. You know, I, I can't praise them enough. Yeah. I'd give them a phone call and say, <laughs> I need a bass line. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the guitarists. Yeah. <laughs> They'll come in and do it. Yeah. Uh, it's all good. So this track is called The Fabric of Life, mm -hmm. um, a standalone one-off, which I'm going to put out in the summer on a, like a... a a glass lip sampler CD. Right. Again, all of these that we release, if they sell enough to cover the cost of getting them pressed into vinyl, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. You know, it's simple as. Brilliant. Let's give it a listen and then go and buy it. Yes. <laughs> Nice, isn't it? It is really nice. It's, it's just different. I yeah. mean, it shows the diversity of all of the players that we get in. Yeah. You know, all, all the Lipshot guys and Octagoth guys. I mean, the city's full of great talents. Yeah. <clears throat> if I could afford to harness it all, I, I mm -hmm. would. My, like I said to you at the top of the show, my, my passion's music. I don't do anything else yeah. apart from work. You yeah, know. Yeah. <laughs> it's music. I, yeah. I, go to, I wake up thinking about it. I go to bed thinking about it. But... Just love music. I know. I think it's the same for anyone involved in it, though, isn't yeah. it? It's yeah. That is all you think about. Yeah, I don't. You know, I mean, it'd be nice to earn big money off it, but it's not about that. No. Yeah. I think if you're doing what you like, then you can put up with everything else, can't you? That's going on. Yeah, very much so. Very, very much so. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get on to another song because time is ticking away now. Well, I'm going to slip this one in because uh, it's. It's a song I'm very, very proud of. It's a song I wrote with a, a, a young girl. Well, we were young back in the day. Uh, Kirsten Johnson. And uh, she wrote the lyrics and, and I put the, the music and melody to it. Uh, we did a, a version on Heart Shaped Tears uh, and it was female fronted. At, uh, mm -hmm. Again, a Coventry singer called uh, Jess Palmer. Jessica Palmer. Uh, they, we then got the notion to send it to America and we sent it to Nashville. And... Uh, it cost us a little bit of money, but we got a version there, and we we yeah. ended up getting it published. Mm -hmm. a song called Inside, uh, but they do it with a male vocalist. Okay, here we go. <laughs> As I lie here in your arms And I stare into your eyes I get the strangest feeling Inside I think of all the words we've said And all the tears we've cried don't know how deep you hypnotize inside. 
inside There's a sparkle that's here tonight I feel it when you hold me tight You send my thoughts A reeling This thought of you Yeah, just a bit. <laughs> saying, saying how American it sounds, yeah. you know, it's uh, certainly paced with an American feel. I yeah, think yeah. all the all the steady shakers mm -hmm. and the, the pushed cymbals and that's just yeah. I am I'm chuffed a bit with that. Bet one. you are. Yeah. I bet you are. Right, you're going to sing us a couple of songs. I am going to sing you a couple of Brilliant. songs. Brilliant. Well, uh, while Keith sorts himself out, I um, I'll play you another song of my choice. I'll play you a bit of Black Country Communion, and this song is called Big Train. That's a bit of Black Country Communion there. Um, I really like them, but they've broken up now. All had a bit of a strop, and it's all over. <laughs> Never mind. Someone who isn't going to have a strop is Keith. He's here. He's going to sing us a couple of songs. Yes, and I'm going to do a couple of acoustic songs. Okay. Ready? Yep. This one's uh, actually about Hillfields. I uh, co-wrote this ooh, 30 years ago. Something like that. All about austerity. <laughs> Simply face, facing that again, don't we? Yep. Desolation city on this estate of us. I got boarded windows, I got broken hearts I got a sister on the game mother's on the drink rats round my kitchen telly on the blink and you think that that's a shame I know that it's a pity you live elsewhere I live in desolation city Brilliant. A bit depressing, though, isn't it? It was a little bit. I hope yeah. you've got some of it for us. Yeah, this is a, another one of my love songs. Love songs. We <laughs> like love songs. A little thing called You Calling Your Name. I don't think that I can go on it. So far apart, I don't feel that I am getting any stronger with the space that's in my heart, and I find myself, yeah, standing in the rain, find myself wanting you. And I find myself, yeah, calling out your name I'm so alone Without you For others, reasons to excite me when we're so far apart. How could I ever love another? You're the lady in my heart, and I find myself yet yeah, standing in the rain. Wanting you, and I 
find myself, yeah, calling out your name. I'm so alone, alone. Bravo.